Yo guys, I'm Yellow, the Norwegian Hardcore PC Gamer, as I always call myself, and today we are going to talk about the oldest potential possible age in which you can still play at a high level at in some sort of eSport. Obviously, because this channel is CS related and, and that's the main focus, I'm gonna uh, use uh, Counter-Strike examples, but keep in mind that uh, because of the nature of the beast that is CSGO, or Counter-Strike in general, um, it might be a little bit higher in terms of the max age somebody can be a top professional at versus for example some other uh, more twitch based and more intensive esport out there that could be starcraft or dota for all i know but all this being said let's get on with some lovely examples of the type of uh, teams out there that currently are at a decently high age in which uh, yeah go figure there's more than one out there so from the start, from the get-go, Nip is a good candidate here to bring up. Um, they were able to recently win the Star Series Season 2 final. I thoroughly would recommend you guys to watch that VOD if you want to see some top-level elite class Counter-Strike. But aside from that, their roster is decently old, uh, aside from the countless of achievements that they have had together. Now, they won this um, this particular tournament with one stand-in, that was Michael Lele. So me calculating the average age of a Nip in which, uh, as far as I can tell, Forrest is supposedly the oldest one, being 27, and Freiburg is the youngest one at 24. Their average, in terms of age, is 25.4 years old. Uh, now, that is excluding Pith, which is only 22. Um, the reason for why I did that was because Michael Lele was a stand-in, and his age is currently 25. So, knowing this approximate age, it's then fair to say that, uh, you know what? If you put in a lot of work from a very young age, or a decently young age, maybe like around like 15 or 10 years of age, like... It doesn't need to be that, but it thoroughly looks like it does help when it, you spectate some of the more elite type players out there that have been playing Counter-Strike for a longer amount of time. I mean, the game is over 16 years old, damn it. Of course, there are gonna be some veterans out there doing really good. But the point I'm getting to here is that that it looks like that helps. But aside from that, yeah, go figure. Um, it lo does not look like your eSport career is by far done, even if you're 25. Now, I got another example in which their average age is even higher than Nips, okay? And it's obviously Obviously Virtus Pro. They got countless achievements, and some of the more noteworthy will be that they just recently won the E-League Season 1, 1 million dollar prize pool, as far as, far as I memory can, can allow me to remember that sort of stuff. But the point though is that their roster has not been changed since early 2014, in which their average age lands on 26.4, one entire year above NIP. Um, now that is uh, taking everybody's age into account. Um, Taz is currently 30, Neo is 29, Pasha Biceps is 28, and then you got Snacks at 23, and Bialy at 22. So it's important to take a, take a look at that, because that means that um, it actually honestly looks like uh, like this will be sort of the, the in-between age for somebody being able to perform at the top level uh, in such an uh, eSport type intensive game. Now what I also want to put emphasis on here people is that we can see the future and so while I'm gonna estimate that maybe the max age will be 30 or maybe all the way up to 35 in some cases as an eSport player playing at a really really high level and not declining nearly as much as uh, we might think, that's just gonna be an, uh, a guesstimation by me, okay? Uh, I don't exactly know everybody's DNA and physique, we are all a little bit differently made as human beings, and that's aside from playing Counter-Strike at a very early age early on. It looks like it will give you some benefits, I don't know that, I want people to disprove that, but I have yet to see some counter evidence of somebody at a decently high, high age just jumping into CS and getting incredibly good. However, most people can get really good because of how CSGO is put together as a game, so it goes without saying then that, uh, you know what, I think uh, saying like 30 to 35 years old being the max age, it's a fair early guess, but hopefully those limits will be broken in the future, because I personally think that that would be exciting as hell. I mean, come on, you can play at an, at an eSport for over like 10 years? That's insane, but I think that's pretty sick. So anyways, hopefully you guys found this video to be interesting and informative. Here are two related videos if you want to get smarter or better at CSGO. Aside from that, I would recommend you guys to support this channel on Patreon. That way you also get to support the channel everybody else also enjoy quite a bit. That's aside from you also getting some perks and, and all that lovely jazz. Um, I also want to point out that you guys should probably follow me on Twitter if you have not already. We are uh, rocking closer to that 1k follower mark, which would be fun to hit. But anyways, thanks for watching, have a nice day, and don't get beast defined when you play.